All right, everyone, Mike here with the watch list. Oh, you know what? I got to pause this for a second. Okay, there. I had to fix the zoom on my charts. Um, so the SPY basically, hang, <clears throat> excuse me, hanging out again at all-time highs. It's a slow melt-up, impressive strength in the market. Uh, I'm going to slide this up real quick for new members in chat. Do this every day, but I got to keep doing it. If you're brand new, please pause the video and read that so you understand. Believe me, there's people who have been in chat for quite a while and still don't understand. That's another video. I might make it tonight. I might not. Um, my two biggest bugaboos, right, are posting something that you already took. We don't do that in chat. And then my other one is language of certainty. And that is the one I'm going to make another video about today because uh, it was slightly amusing today. Um, but I want to talk about why I do not allow language of certainty in the room. Again, separate video. All right. So with that said, um, let me go into what we're watching tomorrow. It's kind of a big list, so I'm just going to get right into it. AEON had a big pop yesterday. Inside day today, but holding on pretty nicely. That one goes on watch. GameStop is curling up out of this base, GME, so that goes on watch. And then I'll throw KOSS, which is trying to, trying to curl to the upside. If GameStop gets some legs, KOSS may follow, so I'll just keep those two together. ZAPP is impressive. Um, is holding up very well, so that one goes back on watch. Very impressive strength today again. LPA, um, another one that's holding up very nicely, so it goes back on watch. GRAL, looks like it's only been trading for a few weeks, right? But um, looks like it pushed to new all-time highs today. That one goes on watch for a possible continuation play. LCFY, strong day today. Bullish engulfing over uh, yesterday's uh, candle, so... We're going to watch that one. EB, which I think had um, some kind of collaboration with TikTok. So that actually sounds like pretty good headline. Um, you'd have to delve into it to know if it's really good. But the chart so far looks pretty happy about it, right? So maybe a follow through day there in EB. T O. I have trouble typing T O Y O. I don't know why. Um, just that it had the gap up 320 high the next day, 315 high today, 310 high. So potential stat catalyst scenario, maybe we open um, somewhere in here and take out three, and then I'll probably try the whole number three break if it hasn't gone too far too fast, knowing we've got boom, 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 we've got dominoes lined up, right? Um, CHGG, nice gap up today and a pretty strong close, maybe a follow through day there. Rum, we got that inside day today, looking for a third day play, that's R-U-M, Poet. Right back up near recent highs, so we're going to keep our eyes on that one. NAAS, a really nice two-day pop here, pulled back, and nice volume today. So that one um, is pretty interesting to me. AGEN, um, I don't love this, but you know the most recent high, 1969. Today's high, 1874 over today's high with a clean setup, then maybe we, we make a run at that 1969. And sometimes you make a run at a recent high and just rip through it. So that's that's why that one's on watch. Shopify, S-H-O-P, nice little breakout today. We'll look for a follow through day there. VFS had this pop out of this base and now you're kind of flagging for a few days. A-E-H-R, I've been watching this son of a muck bunny and then in after hours, it rips today. Now, I know it had earnings in after hours, um, but they pre-announced the other day. So, you know, I loved it right here. And what did I make? 30 cents on it the other day. It just, it just didn't follow through. And anyway, now in after hours, it, it hit 1997. As I'm talking to you, it's trading at 1946, right? So all the way up here. Um, so that one goes on Gap Watch tomorrow, as does SHIM, S-H-I-M. There's a daily, but as I'm talking to you, it is trading at 307. So if that, if AEHR and Shimmer are still gapping in the mornings, both of those will go on the gap playlist and we'll add others to that list as well. I will see you guys in the pre-market tomorrow.